Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it's time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 343. And this is kind of like a twofer. <laughs> We're kind of going to do two different things. Maybe they'll marry together, maybe they won't. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. <laughs> I have I I have the April Simply Botanical to show you. It released a couple days ago on our website so it is there i have a tool from Sizzix that maybe you've seen it maybe you haven't seen it maybe you knew about it maybe you didn't know about it but boy is it affordable and boy is it a game changer so i've got that for you i have got a brand new product from simply defined this is the launch of a brand new product for me, so I'm excited about that. There's just a whole mess of stuff going on. And so I hope that you stick around to see all of it. This is definitely a technique-based YouTube without question. So you may want to pause me and get paper and pencil to take notes. So, or at least jot down what YouTube number this is. So I'm going to put my pause face on. That's my pause face. See, I don't blink because no doubt whenever you blink and you pause me, I'm like mid blink. <laughs> so you had my pause face. You're now back. You have your paper, you have your pencil, and we are ready to go. But of course, before we start that, I need to tell you a little something about this YouTube that's a little different than before. Well, just for this YouTube. So one of the products that I'm showing you today is from Sizzix, and it is a dimensional plate that is amazing. And for reasons that are just, just with everything that's going on in the world today, the plate isn't going to be here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. I'm going to have to send you to Sizzix.com to buy it. Now, I know that sounds really strange and really weird that I am sending you someplace else to buy something, but gosh, I think that, I think that we crafters, first off, as a business owner, I truly believe in supporting all businesses. I think that if you have an independent store to go to, you should shop them first, even though we have an online presence, yes? But I also have an independent store and know what it's like to, to want customers to come see you. So I also believe in, in supporting the manufacturers that have supported us through the years. I am extremely loyal, sometimes to a fault, but I am a very loyal person and my shop my, my buying is, is loyal to those manufacturers that have helped us out through the years. I also believe that when given the opportunity to do the right thing, you should always try to do the right thing. I know that sounds simplistic and, and idealistic. <laughs> I get that. But I do believe that if given the opportunity to do the right thing, you should try to do the right thing, even if it doesn't benefit you, even more so when it doesn't benefit you. Don't they say that you see the character of a person when, when they do something and nobody else is watching? So, so this, this dimensional pad, I will not have it to sell on our YouTube yummies. You will have to go to Sizzix.com. And I need to make you aware that I am not an affiliate for Sizzix.com. I am not being paid a commission to send you there. I will make no revenue off of this. And that is okay. YouTube has a rule that if there will not be a link on this YouTube to direct you to Sizzix.com to buy this product because they are not paying me to send you there. This is an opportunity to do the right thing. And my girls made the most beautiful samples using their dimensional plate. They did, it's beautiful. And Sizzix Ellison has been a good partner to us over the years. We've had our ups and downs, don't get me wrong. You wanna negotiate with me, 
have at it. Mr. Big Shot and I have definitely sat across the table with neither of us blinking, like literally in a stare down over, <laughs> over what I wanted to buy and how much I wanted to pay for it. <laughs> but I'm not going to not show you this product because I can't get it to you. No, we're better than that. Scrapbooking Made Simple is better than that. And Sizzix deserves more than that. They de uh, deserve to know that, uh, that when given the opportunity to do the right thing, we do the right thing and that we value them as a partner. So I needed to tell you that. I also need to tell you, well, some of it for YouTube so they know I am not being paid. There's not a commission being paid. So I am disclosing that I am not an affiliate for Sizzix. Nothing will come to me. And um, I also want to tell you that there's lots of these plates. You do not need to pause me and go run to Sizzix.com right now. You don't. They have, they have a lot of them. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> but I think that if you don't already own it and you are a die cutter, you should. And they're so inexpensive. So for today, I'm going to start with that product, with that Sizzix dimensional plate. It is a Tim Holtz product. And I'm going to pair it up with my Simply Botanical April release, which is limited. It's very limited, really, really limited. And I'm gonna incorporate some of the Sizzix opulent paper, which we do have in the ivory. It looks more like white to me, sorry. Um, and use a couple of the sheets that I didn't use last week. Last week I used the glitter and I used the glossy and I, alcohol inked over it and it was like oh if you have not seen youtube number 342 it is definitely worth a watch i mean it's just it was just pure magic but with this opulent paper pack from sizzix you get five different specialty papers and you get 10 sheets each this will complete your collection if you've already got the charcoal and the rose gold and you've got the gold and the silver either already to you or on its way to you. This is the last pack out of the Opulent series. Now, this pack passed QC without any issues, but you know, every paper might have, there, there's always a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but uh, I think you're going to love it. And I'm gonna use two sheets out of the Opulent pack so that I will have shown you how to use four out of the five sheets and it is on sale and we do have it that you can get from us and you can't get from Sizzix.com because we have it all. So it's all about being a good friend and a good partner and investing in each other. And I'm hoping that, well, I know that's what I've done with Sizzix over the years and doing the right thing when given the opportunity. My girls made you beautiful samples and I'm not gonna not show them just because I can't sell you the product. That is so not what we're about here. So I've got winner, winner, chicken dinner to talk about. And then we're gonna tilt down and we're gonna get started for today. It is a good day to have a good day, everybody. All right, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> this was from 342. We're only doing gift cards right now. I, I can't even try to ship, I just, Try to ship prizes right now is just beyond, it is beyond what I can do. It truly is. And for those of you who are being so kind in your emails and your phone calls and so gracious and just thank you. Thank you for understanding what we are going through here. I mean, and thank you for noticing. I mean, Michael Paxa, he, and he, you guys commented, you know, that my boys, they're here. They're here three days a week helping out. Thank you. Thank you so much. And for those of you who have not been oh so kind, <laughs> well, God bless you. <laughs> I'm gonna say God bless you. So if you're one of those wonderful peeps out there who hasn't been oh so kind, it's okay. God bless you, truly. All right? All right. <laughs> I probably should stop and redo this, right? <laughs> oh well, we're gonna just go. <laughs> Should have used my inside voice on that, but sometimes you just gotta get it out. 
<laughs> All right, you guys, YouTube number 342. It was the opulent paper that I'm going to show again today, the Marabou Alcohol Inks, oh, and the April Simply Defined Kaleidoscope Dyes. I'm sorry they sold out as fast as they did. There has been cancellations, and there are a few available. I don't know if they're still available, but, but we were able to put some more back in as people canceled their orders. Okay, so sorry. All right, so... <laughs> Our first winner, winner chicken dinner, who's going to get a $25 gift card is Denise Gardner. Hello, Denise Gardner. Denise Gardner, if you've sent me an email or placed a phone call and you have just been as kind as kind can be, see karma. You just were a winner, winner chicken dinner and bless you for being so kind. But you have a friend. Who else? We have Penny. Penny Kitzmiller. Hello, Penny Kitzmiller. Is that you? You two are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I've got Penny and I've got Denise. Wahoo, kachoo. Okay, what do we do? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, kachoo for you. All right, you guys, I'm just going to start putting $25 into your into your accounts if I can find it. And that way you don't even have to claim your prize. Too many emails for me to deal with. <laughs> I had too many emails. Sometimes it's like 200 emails a day. So that's why I can I can get behind because trying you can only do so much in a day. 24 hours is not nearly long enough anymore. All right. Don't worry about it. If you claim your prize, if you don't claim your prize, I'm going to put $25 in. I've got all my winner winners from past YouTubes. I'm just going to drop money in your account and you can go spend it anyway. That makes your heart happy. Okay. So we're going to get started for today. I'm going to tilt on down. I'm going to show you two samples. I'm going to show you the first sample of what we're going to start with, which is that amazing Sizzix dimensional plate and the amazing Simply Botanical and the amazing <laughs> opulent paper from Sizzix. And then I'm going to show you a sample of my new product, my new Simply Defined product. This is my first time ever doing this type of product. And there's definitely been some learning lessons. I, I, I know what I want to change and do differently, but I hope you like them and they are so value priced. Oh, I've seen product out there that's not comparable because they're smaller. You still get three, maybe three, maybe four. They're smaller and they're twice the price. I hope you like them. All right, I'm going to tilt on down and we're going to get started for today. Goodbye, everybody. And everybody say hello to David, Mr. Big Shot, and Sarah, and Stacy, and Kim, everybody from Ellison, who uh, really just, just helps us stay, stay going forward. Okay, down we go. Bye-bye. All right. So let's zoom on in. How's that? Okay, so here is sample number one using product from Sizzix and Simply Botanical. The butterfly and the saying are from Simply Botanical. But look, the butterfly does not come all the way out. It's not that we die cut the whole thing out and then stuck it on top. No, it's cut into the paper. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. And then a little bit of blue on the back to, I just love it. So this is what we're going to start with today. But then we're going to move to this. What do you think? This is a brand new kaleidoscope stencil by Simply Defined. Are you ready? I'm going to zoom on in. And I have exclusive stamps from Versus for you. It's a banner day here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. I hope you can see the detail. I'm zooming in so you can see the detail of the stencil. And that is a versus stamp. All right, are we ready to get started? I agree. Let's go. 
So first things first, let's talk about the Sizzix, the Sizzix a dimensional plate. It is a six by six. It goes through your Big Shot, your Big Kick, your Vagabond, your Big Shot Plus, your Big Shot Pro, your Big Shot Express, your Big Shot, what do you own? <laughs> it is the, the, the uh, thickness of a standard cutting plate. Chances are it's gonna go through your Platinum Six, your Platinum Eight, your, well, what, do, what do you own? Probably not a cuddle bug. <laughs> so all it is, is a cutting plate that has this very weird little crevice in the center of it. Very weird little crevice. And what does that do? I'm gonna show you, we're gonna get to that. I am gonna tell you that the skew on this, and I wanna make sure it's the same on the both of them. Yes, okay, I wanna make sure the skew, if you were to go to Sizzix.com, and again, you don't have to run there right now, trust me, they've got plenty, but you would search 656-498. Six five six four nine eight. Now you may see it in this packaging online, or you may see it in this packaging online. And if you order it, you may get this package, or you may get this package. I don't know. It's called a rolling change in the industry. This was the original packaging that it came out years ago. And then they do what's called a rolling change when they want to update it. And Tim went to like black and whites for all of his product. So then they started doing it slowly, bringing in everything in this packaging. Are they the same plate? Absolutely. Are they going to do the same thing? Absolutely. So do you care which packaging you get? Absolutely not. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to put those over there right now. And I'm going to put this right there. So this plate we're going to use when we die cut our Simply Botanical. And let me open that up and we'll pull that one out right now too. So in this set of Simply Botanical, which is limited, it is the, the Simply Botanical set for April is limited and the Kaleidoscope stencils that I have for you are limited, just like last week's collection. So you have the die to cut out the butterfly and the dies that will allow you to cut out all the little the little flowers and stuff and then you have a couple sentiments so fourteen dollars and thirty nine cents it's a value price it is a combination a co co collaboration between hero arts and scrapbooking made simple under the brand simply botanical exclusively for us so I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna pull this, but I think also I'm gonna bring over and I'm gonna pop this real quick because this one is brand spanking new. So if you've been collecting Simply Botanical, please know these are limited. I'm gonna put my stamp right there and then I'm gonna bring over the Sizzix paper because that's, I think, where we'll start with this. So this is the opulent paper. It is by Sizzix. This is the fifth out of five packs. There was a rose gold we are sold out of. There was a charcoal we are sold out of, I think. We may have some silver and gold left. I don't remember. You get five different sheets. You get a glitter sheet, which I used in the last YouTube, but I alcohol inked it. You get a smooth finish or a soft touch sheet. You get a brushed metal sheet. You get a pearl sheet and you get a glossy, glossy sheet. So the pearl has kind of got some pearlescent to it. The soft touch, it just really feels like suede. You get five different specialty sheets. You get 10 sheets each for a total of 50 sheets, $19.99, and then we have it on sale on a YouTube Yummy. And we had it last week too. So it's the same paper I used last week. So I'm gonna put that over there. And I think I'm gonna bring over, today I'm gonna be playing with the soft touch and I'm gonna be playing with the pearl, the pearlized, you can see that shimmer. And the soft touch, you really just have to take my word for it. It feels like butter, it feels like suede. It just is, it's just lovely. You just wanna sit there and pet it. So, <laughs> so what am I gonna do with these? Well, I think, you know what, I think I'm going to cut them in half to begin with, just to make things easy for me. 
And I'm going to be playing with Marabou crayons and I'm going to be playing with Tombow markers. Marabou crayons and Tombow markers. Now both of these have a completely different feel to them and a, a completely different porosity, how quickly the ink will absorb into them. And when I'm going to be using it with my butterfly, oh, I didn't get black ink. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I have one in here? Do I have one in here? Well, hot dang, I do. Ha ha. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have Elena or Doris or Claire or B or anybody to help you set up. I need help. <laughs> I always forget something. The girls are so good. If I forgot it, they remembered it. And if they forgot it, I remembered it. But now it's just me. So two different porosities in the ink absorbing in. And if you were to use, let's say, a pigment-based ink on these, you would definitely have to heat set to let it, it dry. I mean, it, a pigment-based ink is going to smear a little bit. These are awesome for a water-based ink or a dye-based ink, not an alcohol-based ink. This is not good for uh, alcohol inks like we did last week when we used the glitter. This was amazing with alcohol ink on it, as was the glossy amazing with alcohol inks on them so i'm going to pull out a baby wipe and i'm still working on the same baby wipes that i started when all of the quarantine stuff happened and i think i'm just going to play a little bit with a marabou crayon now what is a marabou crayon maybe i like the blue what is a marabou crayon this is an art crayon. And when they say crayon, they don't really mean crayon like Crayola crayon. In Europe, art crayons, uh, that's what they call a soft pastel. Now, in the States, you may also know them as gelatos. Faber-Castell makes gelatos. We carry the Marabou brand. And the reason we carry Marabou brand is because this entire tube is filled with product. And the pigment is is a little bit stronger, a little bit better than the Faber-Castell. Not that there is anything wrong with Faber-Castell, and until Marabou came around, we sold Faber-Castell gelatos because they were the best thing out there on the tie at the time. Now Marabou has come to the United States, and they really are a fine art type of, of manufacturer. So these are creamier, they're smoother, they're more pigmented, and truly, you just get a ton of product and they're less money than the gelatos. That happens sometimes when you bring things in from overseas. The price is a little bit better because they're not as well known here and when people see art crayon they instantly think of like a Crayola and it's not. So I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to fold my baby wipe. I'm going to fold it and then fold it and then fold it, and then I might even fold it again. So I'm working with something really small. And I think I'll do half of each in the in the marabou crayon. So I'm putting, can you see how bright that is? That's a hello. <laughs> That's big bird yellow or rubber ducky, you're the one. Rubber ducky yellow. And I'm just going to wipe it on. Easy, fast, quick way of coloring. Look at how fast that is. Bam. Let's see. Let's rub some on. Might put a little more on. Now I haven't like flipped over my, my uh, baby wipe yet. Okay, so I've got some. Now, let's add some blue and see what happens. And I'm not going to take my baby wipe and turn it inside out or over or change it. I'm going to put that blue right on top of my yellow. Right on top of my yellow. And I'm going to come in. And I'm going to blend that right on top of my yellow. And it's going to change my color. Let's get some here. And the reason why I'm not flipping it over is because I want it to blend a little bit with that yellow. 
so I have a nice, nice, lovely blend as opposed to um, defining color. Okay. Now, do I want more blue? I could add more blue. And I could pat it down and move it in and add more blue and add more texture to it. What is it that makes my heart happy? Maybe I want a darker blue in there. Now I've got a darker blue. These are kid-friendly, uh, beginning crafter-friendly, experienced crafter-friendly, because you really can't make a mistake. Ooh, look at that dark blue. Ooh, I like that. And now maybe I want to go back and add some more yellow. I'm still on the same little square that I started out on. Haven't changed it up at all. And now I can add more yellow into it and really blend. Can you see what I'm getting? It's They're just beautiful. They make the most beautiful backgrounds that you can then stamp on top of. It's They're just, well, you don't even have to stamp on top of it. You could mat it, and but you can die cut with it and just whatever makes your heart happy. And the nice thing is the pearlescent stays pearlescent, even though we've added all that color and dry, hello not wet fabulous and the soft touch feels just like that and maybe i do like more blue maybe i want this one super blue can we do super blue now if i did turn it around and put my blue on here again Look at how dark that blue is. That's the color that you're working with. So if you want that intensity, that's when you turn it over and start using another side because it's going to add that intensity of color. Ooh. Now I'll use the same colors. It just depends upon how dark and how much you want how light, how soft, how easy. It just, it all depends upon you. And then if I wanted to, I could pick my color back up. Hmm. I hate to ruin this, but. Take my baby wipe and I can start to pick. So you could go in there and really kind of scrunch it up. and make some texture on it and have some an interesting three-dimensional background without it actually being three-dimensional and then you say oh but I don't like that Stacy I don't I like it the way you had it okay blue wipe 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 You really can't make a mistake with marabou crayons. Honest to goodness, you can't. They are one of the most forgiving things ever. They really are. So I've got it on two different sheets of Sizzix opulent paper, that pearlized, beautiful paper, and the very soft touch paper. Just lovely. Now, I could also take, I'm gonna put this one aside, I could also take my, because maybe you don't have marabou crayons. Okay, I got it, no problem, let's move on. What if I took, oh, I got my fingerprints there, but that's okay. What if I took my Tombow markers? What markers do you have? Tombow, Marvy, Stampin' Up, who do you have? And I ink, 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 look at I'm drawing right there. Ink, 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 ink. And then what if I go in 
with my baby wipe and I pick up all that color. Ooh, it's dirty. Okay, we're gonna go with it anyway. And I put that color down. Should've cleaned my mat first. What if I pick up that color and start to put that color down? Just with a baby wipe because I want to make a background. I want to die cut a bunch of stuff out of it. So I flipped it over because I got a little bit of my marabou in there. This is on the soft color. With a baby wipe, just a baby wipe. So I'm gonna die cut this because you're saying, oh, it looks kinda like a, oh, what happened there? Hello, <laughs> wow. <gasps> Kind of looks like a hot mess, I know, but this is the soft touch. Now let's do it on the pearlescent. Yellow. And I'm just scribbling right on my craft mat. And if you don't have a craft mat, get a piece of aluminum foil, tin foil, or a piece of a, 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 a glass of, you know, a glass plate or a, any plate, something non-porous. Now I think what you will see is that the colors tend to be a little bit more vibrant on the soft finish than they are on the pearlized. So pretty. And again, I'm just using a baby wipe. So, so pretty. And wait for it. The pearl comes through. Doesn't matter if you're gonna use the marabou or a marker, that pearlized uh, effect, that finish comes through. So, do you like more vibrant? I mean, I could really get this really, really dark and really, really happy. Do you like more vibrant? Because you're gonna be able to achieve that a little bit easier on the soft touch. Look at that, I mean, it just changes the whole thing. You're gonna be able to get that on the soft touch a little bit more than you can on the pearl, but the pearl gives you that beautiful finish to it. But you don't have to choose, why? Because you get both in the pack. <laughs> so now we've used the glitter paper, we've used the glossy paper, we've used the soft touch, and we've used the pearlized. The only one I haven't used is the brushed one yet. I don't know if I'll get to that, we'll see. <laughs> so then we bring over our, our stamp. And this is the Simply Botanical Butterfly. Now you're saying, Stacy, you just did a die of a butterfly. I know, I know I did, <laughs> I know. But I didn't have a stamp to go with it. <laughs> so I did this one, the full butterfly that has a stamp. That way, if you wanted to get this to go with the kaleidoscope dies from last week and you wanted to have a stamped butterfly as opposed to just a die cut butterfly well now you have options <laughs> and i'm gonna bring over my stamp plate from couture creations i don't know what color do we want I'll do that And maybe we'll do that. Hopefully I cut those big enough. I'm sure I cut those big enough. All right, stamp press from Couture Creations. Great little stamp press. I'm gonna put my paper down.
I'm going to butt it up. I did not know that. Butt it up to the side so it helps the magnets hold it in place better. I got an email that told me to do that. Very wise person, very wise woman who told me to do that. Thank you very much. I'm going to lay my butterfly down with the stamp side against the paper. I'm just going to press it and lift it up. Ta-da! Then I'm going to ink. Okay, I've got my butterfly all inked up. Let's see what happens and hopefully it's not still a little, no, I don't think it's a little wet, but let's see what happens. One, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, not bad. Not a bad image, not a great image. I'm missing a little bit in the center. So because we're on a stamp press and because this is a different type of stamp press, it's working off of hinges, you have the availability for your paper to go off all three sides, which means you can make it a lefty or a righty. You can use any size paper you want. I'm gonna push it right back down because it's gonna line right back up again. One, two, three, A, B, C. So the way the stamp press works is off of hinges. Can you see them up and down? It's different than anybody else's stamp press. And this is the only one we're carrying. Oh, that's getting so much better. Look at how dark it is now. Lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one aside and I'm gonna bring my, my green one over. And hopefully I am close to the same place. I'm close enough. I'm gonna ink it up. One, two, three, A, B, C. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Now, hmm, I'm gonna close this up and move it over. And I think I am gonna take these, and I'm not gonna cut them down yet, but I, I am going to, you know what, I'm gonna cut two more. I'm gonna just stamp two more, super quick. Sorry guys, but I wanna make sure that I have enough to show you. So let's just do two more. While I've got the ink out, while I've got the stamp press out, Though I would not throw these away. I would be using these somewhere. I, I, you know, I usually throw everything away, but I'm not throwing those away. I like them. Of course, I don't have a retail store open to make pretty samples and put them down on, but okay. Well, I digress. <laughs> I'm gonna line this up to the side, kind of give it an edge to push against. Oh, magnet, there we go. And what I like about his mat or his plate, his stamp press is that the magnets have little tabbies on them. Hold everything in place, is that good? Close enough, A, B, C, one, two, three, press, 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 up. Oh, mm, so pretty. <laughs> Let's put this one down. Let's ink, ink, ink. So can you see how quickly you can um, ink mass production if you're doing something or if you make a mistake like, um, oops, oh man, that did not come out the way I wanted. Look at it. part of his wing over here is missing. It's just, yeah, no, not so much. Because you're able to align it right back up, close it up and fix any mistake. We did not get into the, the issues over the different stamp presses that were out a couple years ago, so we just didn't carry any, but oh my gosh. Now that's a stamp. <laughs> you can stamp, double stamp, triple stamp. You can keep going until the darkness is what you want, until you achieve the, same, the right color. Okay, now I've got enough of them, I think, to be able to do what I want to do. Okay. This is where I'm going to play with the Sizzix machine. And I've got four to play with. Oh, <laughs> pretty. Okay, so I'm going to bring over, I'm going to bring over my Big Shot machine and I'm going to kind of slide it on over so that my, I'm going to go back just a little bit so that my camera doesn't go bzzz. All right, so I have got my magnetic platform. 
You do not have to have a magnetic platform. You absolutely could do this with your standard multi-purpose platform, whether you use the the standard size one, the long one, or you have the new machine where what you get is a base plate and one shim, not hinged. Doesn't matter, you're gonna, no matter whether you have the long one, the small one, or the base plate with one shim, you're gonna pile everything on top. You're gonna make sure it's completely closed when you use it, or you're going to use a magnetic platform. And this is not uh, sold with the machine. This is an added item that you would have to uh, pay for and it is it is definitely a want Unless you die cut a lot and then it's a need it it really is they're they're I want to say they're $39.99 So it's not like it's the most inexpensive thing in the crafting world at the same time If you're die cutting with stamp and you're stamping and die cutting all the time Then it is something you may want to have now. I'm going to put my clear plate down I'm gonna put my butterfly down. And now this is where, this is where my little weird dimensional plate comes in. So it's got a divot on both sides, a divot on both sides. I'm gonna put my die right on and I can line it up and because it's a magnetic platform, nothing moves. Isn't that nice? die right on and now my little dimensional and I want to say they have it on sale it's usually I think I think it's $6.99 and maybe they have it on sale maybe they don't but if they don't it's still just $6.99 it's okay it's worth it I'm going to put that dimensional plate right where that body of my butterfly is right in the center right where I want it to not cut you're like what do you mean not cut well, because I've got a plate here and a plate here, but a divot here, when this plate rolls through your machine and it hits the roller, where the divot is, is not gonna get that pressure from the roller to make the cut. It just won't, it can't. There's no plastic there to hit against the roller. So let me roll through and let's see what we get. And this is an open frame die. So do you have to go back and, oh, see, creaks and cracks are all good. Don't worry. Just send it on through. Do you have to go backwards and forwards? No, not if you don't want to. This is what we call an open frame die. What I call, I named it that. Oh. An open frame die. And so you can stick your fingers through it. It's not intricate at all. And so one pass usually will work. Now what has happened? Is that now my butterfly, it doesn't come all the way out, which means I could then back it. No gluing it down, it's just there. Ooh. Right? Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Well, okay. Is that one of the coolest things you've ever seen? And it's not just for butterflies. Do you have a flower that you want to cut in and you put it down the center and your petals will peel up but not cut the whole flower out? Do you have um, ladybugs where you want the wings to come up but not the center? Do you have dragonflies? Do you have other butterflies? What do you have that you want to make dimensional? without entirely cutting it out. Because if you don't use the plate, and it acts as your do not cut plate, if you don't use the plate, what do you get? Well, gosh, this is these are beautiful. I'm, I'm so sorry, I'm so happy with them. <laughs> the Marabou, and it just does a beautiful job, and the, uh, on that paper, and the, the markers do a beautiful job on that paper and you guys thought I was making a mess but I didn't now I've cut it all the way out so what do you want to do for your project so very cool could you imagine oh well, there's just things you could do. You could take two of these and back them and 
You can cut it all the way out or you can have a dimensional in the paper because the plate really is very inexpensive for what you're getting and you don't cut into it so it doesn't warp it doesn't you're not going to be replacing this again and again and again so let's do another one and then i have to move on oh i have to move on let's do another one okay so i've got there i've got my dimensional plate i'm putting my dimensional plate I'm leaning over to see so I can see where I'm centering it. Hopefully that's about right. Oh, die. Hello. <laughs> That'd be a help, wouldn't it? Thanks for telling me. Appreciate it. Okay. Dimensional plate. I don't want it to cut here. I want it to cut all the way around the wings. I want it to cut all the way around the wings, but I don't want it to cut here. And because it's got that divot, it, the plate isn't gonna hit the roller in the same way, so it's not gonna have the pressure needed to cut the paper. Can you see now why I wasn't willing to, uh, to pass this up, even though, I, I mean, it's not a matter of, it, it really isn't that important who sells it to you, truly it isn't. We are all crafters. We all wanna make pretty things. And there's room for everybody. So if you go to Sizzix.com to buy it, it's great. It's that that that's fine. There's room out there for everybody. Is that not so cool? Oh, I love it. You can do this. Or you can do this. You have options. Okay, so that's using the Sizzix paper, Marabou crayons, and Tombow markers to do all of this. I hope you took notes. So pretty. And remember, the skew is 656498. Six, six, it may come packaged like this. It may come packaged... And the new packaging doesn't make a difference. They're both the same. You're going to love it, I promise you. And I am not an affiliate. I do not work for Sizzix. They cannot pay me to do a YouTube. Nobody can pay me to do a YouTube. And I get no benefit. <laughs> the benefit I get is watching you guys create. And the cards you send me are amazing. And the emails I get with the pictures are wonderful. That's, that, that's my payment. Absolutely. Love, love, love. Okay, moving on. Now, hard to see, I know. Brand new, simply defined kaleidoscope layering stencils. Three stencils that layer on top of each other that can be used independently of each other or with each other to create a layered effect. The stencils are a full A2 size, all three of them. They're $9.99. I did two of them. This is my first go round of them. I hope you like them. And I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play with the tulips to start. So you can see there's three different stencils, just like my kaleidoscope. There's one with the very, very fine lines to add the detail. There's stencil number two, and then there's the base stencil. One, two, three. You absolutely could just do two if you wanted. You could do this one if you wanted. You could do these if you wanted. You have options. Today, I'm gonna to play with all three of them, and I'm gonna tilt up because this is super important. I'm gonna ask you to play with them in a way that seems counterintuitive. We're gonna start backwards and work forwards. So have your paper and pencil if you need it, okay? Okay, down we go. So, 
me grab some. I'm just going to use my basic white paper. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to keep it on a big sheet just so you can see. Make it a little smaller so it's easier. So I have my three different stencils. Hmm, what do I have to put them against? I guess I don't. Everything here is white. <laughs> do I have something blue? No, everything's white. Oh, here, the back of. So I have three different stencils. I don't know if you can see that. Very, very fine. That's stencil number one. A little more detail, stencil number two, and then a base stencil. And I think intuitively, people want to put the base stencil down, the one that has the least amount of open space. You want to, most people want to start with that and then add your stencil, your other ones on top and layer your colors. I'm going to ask you to start with the most detailed stencil first. And I'm going to put that down. Now, like I said, I've learned a few things doing this. This is my first attempt ever at stencils, and there I, I already know what I'm going to change. <laughs> so uh, the next go around I think is in July, and there'll be two more in July, and there will be, I think I'm going to add a few things to make it easier to tape it down or to hold it in place. Right now I'm just using that really inexpensive washi tape that we had on a flash sale. Remember I told you it was at such a good price that you really should just get it, even if you needed to use it to hold down your dies or your stencils. Well, here it is. Okay. The lines in this stencil are super fine. I took the stencil lines to as thin as I was allowed to, to get as much detail in as I was allowed to. And I'm going to start. I'm going to be using the Couture Creations, their, their brushes. Their brushes are um, comparable to picket fences only they're less money. You get five different sizes and you get two of each. So I have two this size, I have two this size, and they come with a stand. I'll show you a picture of the stand later. But 10 brushes, two of each size, and, um, and a stand to hold them. And a pretty acrylic stand, it's very pretty. And I'm going to use today my Hero Arts Ombre Ink. Do you have to use Ombre Ink? No. I just grabbed it because it has three colors already in it for me that work well together. And because I'm starting with the, the most detailed stencil, you're going to start with your lightest color first. So I have green here. So I have a light green. I have a darker green. Gosh, I don't even know. And I have a really dark green. So in this one pad, I have the three different colors. I want to start with my lightest green because this is my bottom layer. If I start with my darkest green and then try to layer a lighter color on top of it, it's not going to work. That lighter color is going to absorb into the darker color that you've already laid down. So I'm just going to go in here and with my brush, I'm just going to lay down some color. And I'm not going to do the whole stencil. And I'm just laying down some color. Now, you're going to say, but Stacy, you're going outside the lines. Yes, I know. The detail on these stencils is such that you will inevitably go outside the lines. I'm going to be okay with that, and I think you are too. So I'm putting down my lightest color, my lightest color green. And I'm going outside the lines a little bit, and I'm okay with that. And I'm just coloring my leaves. Okay, good. So now I'm going to brush off my, my brush. If you want, you can take a little bit of a baby wipe to get it clean. Okay, I think that's...
that's good. And I'm going to move over to another color. And I'm going to use another ombre ink. And I'm going to start with my lightest color. So I've got yellow in there. I'm going to pick up my yellow and I'm going to do my I'm going to do my tulips. And I'm just coloring and you can see I'm not being uber careful. I'm just trying to get my color in there. So you can see it's not it's not perfect. No, it kind of looks like a hot mess, but that's okay. Just get my color in there. I don't want you to feel that if you are not comfortable with stencils, you can't do this because this actually allows you to be uncomfortable and uh, kind of a novice with them and get the most beautiful result. Okay, so I've done a few of my tulips. Like I said, I'm not going to do the entire thing. Okay, now let's move to my next layer, which has, it's filled in a little bit more. It's nowhere near as open as this one. It's filled in a little bit more, and I'm gonna lay that right on top. And now you have an opportunity. You can either take up your last stencil or you can lay this one right on top of the one you just did. These stencils are very thin. And I'm going to lay it right on top. Hopefully I've lined it up. I'm going to turn it around so I can see. I think I'm good. I'm going to put another piece of washi tape down to hold it in place. Now you could use your gel press to hold it in place, but then your paper is going to have to be smaller. You can use sticky grid to hold it in place. Lots of things to hold your stencil in place. I'm just using the washi tape that we had on flash sale because one, it's really inexpensive and it's a <laughs> you can get a lot of washi tape for the money. Okay. So I've got my second layer down. Now I'm gonna come back. And with my darker green, my darker green, I'm gonna go in and fill in the open spaces on my leaves. So if I had started, ooh, if I had started with my dark green and tried to put a lighter green on top of it, of course it's not going to work because that lighter green will just absorb, the color will be absorbed right into that darker green. So you always start with your lightest color. And I'm just getting it in there. Can you see the difference between the two colors, the two greens? This I haven't added my darker green to. here and again you're saying but Stacy you're getting it on the white paper I know I am you're going outside the lines what lines there are no lines okay so now I've added my next color and I'm going to kind of clean my brush. And move into my next color here. And go in and add that to on top of my, on top of my tulips again. 
So now I'm going over the yellow that I first laid down where there's openings. I'm just going over the whole tulip so wherever there's an opening, that ink has an opportunity to kiss the paper. And it's being, the yellow that's below it is being absorbed into that darker color. You're like, oh, are you sure? Really? I know. Trust. Faith. <laughs> Little pixie dust doesn't hurt either. <laughs> so, and I've only used one brush so far. You don't have to have a brush for every color. You don't? Why no, no you don't. Okay. So I've almost got my tulips done. Talk about coloring without having to know how to color. Now we're not putting the ombres on sale because we had them on sale not long ago and I know lots of you already own them. So that's why I chose them. Last but not least, I'm taking the most solid stencil and I'm going to put that on top. I'm going to line it up. And tape it in place. And again, you can lift your stencils up if you want and tape them down one at a time, or you can layer them like I'm doing. Up to you. So I'm going to tape it in place. Is it perfectly in place? I don't know but there's room for forgiveness in these stencils. <laughs> room for forgiveness. Okay, so now I've got my most solid stencil. Now I'm gonna take kind of maybe one of my bigger brushes and I think I'll take this one. It's got some blues and some greens and I'm gonna get my brush and I'm literally gonna blend. And I'm just gonna go over the entire thing. And I'm going to do my entire stencil. Every place I see an opening, I'm going. I'm just about there. Like I said, I won't do the whole stencil. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Close enough. That's where I'm at. Now, I'm going to flip up my first stencil. Then, I'm going to flip up my 
second stencil. And last but not least, I'm going to flip up my last one. Not so much a hot mess anymore, is it? You saw I went out of the lines. You saw that I went past the greens and past the, you saw that I went into the background. But the minute you blend that background, so I've got my first, and then, oh, and I just ruined it with that, and then my second, and then my third. You start with the one that has, oh, Stacy, my stencil was dirty and it turned on it. You start with the one that has the most open space. And lay down your lightest colors. Then you move to your next stencil and go with your next darker colors and then you do your final stencil and fill in the background so that when you are done, this is what you end up with. And if I cut it, minus my, so this is what it looks like now. Minus my little red makes me mad, but that's okay. I'll put the sentiment there, <laughs> right? What do you think? I did this one a little earlier. What do you think? And this was actually, these two were done with the exact same ink pads. It just depends upon how, what, how hard you blend, how much ink you use. They were used, this one was used doing this and this and this. Both of them were used with these three. But I got two totally different colors, didn't I? So, you can see why I used a full sheet of paper because then you've got room, and I'm gonna wipe these down because these are dirty. You've got room to um, clean your brushes. Can you use a finger dauber? Yes, you can, absolutely. Can you use a Tim Holtz blending brush? Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. It's very big, so. Yeah, I'm not as so positive, so, so sure about the Tim Holtz blending brushes, but sure you can try finger daubers. If you've already got some kind of makeup blending brushes, absolutely give it a whirl. I'm just gonna wipe these down. Baby wipe. And remember, you start with your with your most detailed stencil first. Most detailed stencil. Woo! I just lost my just lost my washi tape so We'll switch it up to, we'll switch it up to this one. Most detailed first. And you know, I haven't done it where you just kind of have at it.
I can't say I know what would happen, but you know what? I don't know, but I don't know what would happen. So what if I just took the yellow and just did the whole thing? I mean, just let it go. Because you know me and my yellow, right? Don't know what this is going to look like. We're doing it for the first time together, folks. Then I took my second layer, layered it on top, and put my washi tape down. So this is super fast. Who knows? It may be the place you start and build into layering it the way I did. Okay, not worth the time. Let's get another piece of washi tape. And let's put it down. I think I'm pretty close to being straight, but it's forgiving. So if I'm not, I'll live with it. Stacy, Stacy's struggling with the washi tape today. Okay, now let's take our brush and let's get the darker color. And I'm just going to do the whole thing again. And I'm just putting it all over the whole stencil. No rhyme. No reason. Oh, I just got underneath it, but that's okay. Just get her done. Although with everybody, although I understand some states are coming out of quarantine and that's exciting. California is not. I expect that it will be June before I am able to really reopen. Oh, that seems such a long way away, but you know what? We got to do what we got to do. Okay, added my second color. Did it went over the whole thing, went over the yellow, went over everything. Clean that a little bit and take my third stencil. And layer it right over the top. And remember, you get all three stencils. You're not buying each individual stencil to be able to do that. I know that some companies sell them that way. I didn't even know people did layering stencils until I did mine. And then Claire said, oh, did you know? And I'm like, no, no, I didn't. Because <laughs> I really don't look at anybody else's stuff. So, but then I did look and I'm like, holy smokes, artichokes. 1999, some of them. And other ones you had to buy the individual stencils to make up the that doesn't seem right if they're supposed to go together just package them together so you get all three and they are a two size and now let's take maybe we'll take i don't know if i'm gonna like this oh i don't think i'm gonna like this let's try maybe the blue of course, I've already done that. Well, I have blue in there. Let's maybe take what colors. That? Ooh, I like that. Should have done that in the first place. And I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Now this you could do with your Tim Holtz. You could do the last layer if you're just doing a single color and you wanted to use your blending brushes. 
I'm just going to go over the whole thing. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. That was a commercial a long time ago. <laughs> so it kind of looks like a hot mess again. I know. You're like, oh, Stacy, really? I'm like, yes. All we can do is play and try and see. You never know what you're going to get. It's only paper. I've only used paper. And you've got plenty of paper. Ooh, did I put the right one on the right? Yeah, I think I did. Okay, I am going to wipe up that stencil just a little bit in hopes that I don't get it all over everything. Oh, and now you can see through it. So that's where I'm at. All right, let's see what we've got, shall we? All right, so if I flip the first one, that's where we are. And then if I flip the second one, that's where we are. And then if I flip the third one, oh, that's where we are. What do you think? Okay, that came out really good. <laughs> oh, but I don't want to put these on top of it again in case I ruin it. So I just colored all yellow on the first one. And then I went back with the darker and did the second one. And then I came back and I started with purple, which I didn't like. And I went back over it with the blue over the top and when I was all done that's what I was able to achieve with my three stencils for nine dollars and ninety nine cents and then if I cut it out because it is an A2 card size you are good to go Gosh, I think that's beautiful. If you don't, don't tell me. I don't need to know. <laughs> so I'm just going to chuck this away or use it as scratch paper. And what I'm left with is that. Do you like it? Please tell me you like it. <laughs> and if you don't, like I said, just no need. No words. It's okay. You don't have to. So do you like, I mean, you, you, you have options. You can go in there and layer each color individually, or you can just pick some colors and go for it. And I did two. I did, we're calling this a daisy, but it does, well, it depends upon what color you do it in, but it can be some flowers too. We did two of them. So the tulip, $9.99 each, and they're limited. <laughs> okay, guys. Holy smokes, artichokes. We did a lot today. The first thing we did is we talked about the Sizzix. Oh, where did it go to? Hello. Hmm. Oh, could it be any closer to me? We talked about the Sizzix dimensional pad and what it does and how it will allow you to cut in without cutting all the way out. And we used marabou crayons that blend so easily on a wet wipey. But then did you know you could take a wet wipey with your Tombos or your Marbies or your whose markers do you own? Is there a water-based marker? Go for it. Color, color, color. Wipe it up with your, mark, uh, your baby wipe and then go color your paper. 
So we used the Sizzix opulent paper that we used last week so that you could see how to use all the different sheets you're going to get. And we did this with, well, with the Marabou, with the Tombows, with the Dimensional Plate, and with the exclusive Hero Arts April Simply Botanical. You can only get it here. Woohoo! <laughs> My favorite words, exclusively at, only at, first to have. <laughs> those, those are words that make my heart happy. <laughs> so remember, you're going to have to get your dimensional plate from Sizzix.com, and it is okay with me. You shop there and buy it there because they can get it to you. That is what being a good partner is. We're not gonna, we're not trying to make any profit off of this. There, you're gonna support Sizzix to, when you buy this. And that really is, um, that's really doing the right thing when you have the opportunity to do the right thing. I could have pulled it from the YouTube and not shown it to you, but that would have just been wrong. And I know that there's enough business out there for everybody, for Michaels and Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Scrapbooking Made Simple and wherever else you shop, your local independent store. If you just give everybody just a little bit then, then we all, we all can stay crafting. And if we can keep crafting affordable for you by doing the right thing and making sure that you can get the product you need, especially when it's such a good value, then I feel, I feel good about what I do. That makes my heart happy. So that was the first thing we did. Then, then we moved over to the exclusive Simply defined kaleidoscope stencils. Two separate, two separate stencils, uh, two separate packs, $9.99 each. Each one comes with all three stencils for you to mix and match and create and do beautiful things with for $9.99. And then on top of that, what I didn't even get to, but the girls made the samples with these. Versus, Versus was so kind. They did clear sets for me, two clear sets on sentiments that we haven't had before. Beautiful sentiments. This one is the birthday sentiment and the happy, it says happy birthday. And then it also says, today my thoughts turn to you as I wish for you all the things that are wonderful. And then down here, may, um, may the birthday, may this birthday be just the beginning of a year filled with happy memories. And then over here, this one, um, may time greet, the morning with warmth, the day with love, and the year with joy. Happy birthday. Versus put these together just for me. See, just for me. <laughs> Exclusively at, only at. And so we've got these for you because the card samples were made with either these sentiments or with the sentiments from Simply Botanical. And then here I've got, um, um, let's see, uh, Talking to your best friend is sometimes all the therapy you need. Sending sunshine thoughts to brighten up your day or to brighten your day. A good friend can live far away and still be held close to your heart. Friends pick you up when you fall down and if they can't pick you up or they can't pick us up, they lie down and listen for a while. Boy, isn't that true right now? I thought of something nice today, you, and warm thoughts to you. These are just lovely sentiments. They will be on a YouTube Yummy. They are here, only here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, and you'll see them on the cards that I'm gonna show you. So, what's on sale? Don't forget, Sizzix.com, right? You're gonna go get it. You don't have to rush, they've got plenty of them. These, not so much plenty of. <laughs> the two Kaleidoscope new layering stencils for $9.99 from Scrapbooking Made Simple and my Simply Defined brand. The two sentiments from Versus, lovely. You'll see them, they're beautiful. The blending brush kit. See, look at it, isn't that cute? It has the cutest little stand to go with it. This one's mine, nobody's allowed to touch it. <laughs> and we still have the opulent paper on sale. There's so much for you to choose from this week, honestly. Okay, let's get to samples because that's the fun part, right? All right, so let me start here. And this is the one I'm going to tilt on back just a little bit. Go back to 
just a little bit. This is the one. No, up, up, up. I always do that backwards. This is the one that I showed you earlier. Up, up, up a little bit more. Mm. Is that not gorgeous? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And again, it's okay. If you go out of the lines, you can't even tell when you add the background in. If you're not a stenciler, these are going to make you happy because they make you look good. Here's with Simply Botanical, the butterfly from Simply Botanical. We didn't write names on it. I'm going to say that this is Claire. Is this Claire? I think this is Claire. Huh. And then here is, here is a kaleidoscope layering stencil done with colored pencils. And the sentiment. What do you think? Now this just a note is part of my peel offs for $1.25. What do you think? Is that gorgeous? It's beautiful, right? And it has the little tab telling me to open it. Oh, and she put the sentiment on the inside. This is definitely Doris. It has to be Doris, does it? It has to be Doris. That looks like Doris. And here we have another Simply Botanical. And look at how lovely is this. This is just gorgeous. This was made, um, this was made by a, another uh, designer who made some samples for us and she did a lovely job. And there's your sentiment, part of the verses. And it just, so the sentiments I picked specifically to go with these two uh, kaleidoscope stencil sets. I, I did, I picked the sentiments that would go on them. I actually chose what was going to be in these sets because I wanted them to reflect the stencils. Are we loving it? Are we not? Be on. I, I do actually want you to be honest because <laughs> if you're not, it's a new venture for me. And, you know, I learn as I as I go on and I get better as I go, but maybe these aren't floating your boat. That's from Simply Botanical. And here is Simply Botanical. And how cute is this? This is all the little small pieces that go with the stamp set. I don't know where I put it, but yeah, it's here somewhere. Um, gosh, Stacy. Well, Shucks. Oh, here. So this background was made using all the extra little stamps that come with it. See all those? You'll see them there. Super cute, right? <laughs> and I think Kelly made this one. Kelly from Hero Arts made this for me. How beautiful is this? So the Simply Botanical is $14.39, and then the stencils are $9.99. And the stamp sets are $11.95, and then those are 20% off. Uh, Simply Botanical is as low as it can go at $14.39, and my stencils are as low as they can go at $9.99 for three A2 size stencils. Claire told me to open this one. Good job, Claire. <laughs> well done. Now this one is inking up the, it's using a mist and a watercolor. It's using wet and then laying the stencil down to transfer the image. We did not do that today. We will get there. And this one is also done with getting the, almost using the stencil like a stamp. And the sentiment, again, is from Versus and part of the exclusive collection. And then what about this one? This is Doris, right? 
she remembered that this is my this is one of my older dyes I don't think you can get it anymore how pretty is that so the sentiment and then she used one of my peel offs and this is Doris and it just stands up oh well it did stand up sorry Doris let me get it there we go stands up okay now the next round of samples I showed this one to you already and this one has the sentiment is from Simply Botanical aren't those colors just absolutely gorgeous oh yum and this one is also Simply Botanical and again this is taking the stencil and using watercolor and ink and getting the stencil wet and using it almost like a stamp to leave the impression behind. Love this one, warm thoughts to you. I think Michelle did these and she just did a bang up job, a bang up job, I think, I'm not positive, but whoever, they, they just, they don't, there's no names on the back of them. This one was done with pencil And here is a Simply Botanical. And here is a Kaleidoscope from last week. <laughs> this is a Kaleidoscope die from last week. There's the stencil. And there's the saying, this is Doris. <laughs> Love it, Doris, you little overachiever, you. <laughs> Beautiful, right? I'm going to take that blue off. Detracts from the beauty of this card. Just gorgeous. This is Doris. Oh, I'm supposed to open this one too. Aw, very nice. I think Doris is the blue tabs. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh, so lovely. Just beautiful. And here we have with our dimensional plate. So made the background, stamped on top of the background, embossed with embossing powder doesn't cut all the way out and that is Claire that I'm sure of I think this one was done by Kelly with Simply Botanical I don't know which one's your favorite hard to tell right I'm supposed to open it, okay? I'm supposed to open it. I get it. I'm supposed to open it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna open it. <laughs> oh, there's the birthday. Isn't that so nice? Look at how beautiful. And she did glossy accents over the top. Look at that. Is that fabulous? Makes my heart happy. Oh, and this is beautiful with botanical. Mm -mm 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 -mm. My guess is this is Claire. Those look like her colors. And here we have, got, oh, I'm guessing this is Doris because it's blue tabbed. So we've got a little easel or a pop card there, a little tent card. And let's, isn't that pretty? And then we open it to our sentiment. And just stands right up. And then another one done with the uh, Sizzix Tim Holtz dimensional cutting plate. 
and simply botanical. And then I'm gonna save that one for last. And then here we go. How stunning is this? Done with the new Simply Defined Kaleidoscope Layering Stencils. My first attempt, so be kind. And then we have here, which is then going to pop to there. Beautiful, right? And that's Doris. Look at the coloring, it's just magnificent. And it was done with the stencils and, and the blending brushes. All right, I'm gonna tilt on up and I'm gonna scroll on back and I'm gonna say, hey everybody, okay. Oh! I hope you learned something. I'm still not straight. Oh, well, I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed this class. I hope something inspired you to break out your crafty goodness. I hope that, that, I hope that it's a good day to have a good day for you. That's what I really hope. That's the most important thing that today is a good day to have a good day. And I really believe that. And I hope you go to Sizzix.com and get your dimensional plate. And I hope you come back to Scrapbooking Made Simple and get the stuff that we have that's exclusive. And I hope that when your mom and pop stores open up again, you go give them the biggest hug ever and say, we missed you. <laughs> that's a lot of hoping, isn't it? <laughs> but that's okay. I have faith. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Go to our YouTube Yummies category, and that's where you're going to find all of these great items. I will see you next week. Bye.